ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hit the road as we get sent to take on the Miami Whiplash. And uh, thank you for tuning in. We're going to take a look at the lineup. going to do it the old-fashioned way, I suppose. A little tense for Agro Peppers, but he's been playing reasonably. What can we do about that? Not a whole lot of much at the moment, so we're going to take a look at... What we got going on, we could sub out Blimo Battery. I think that's a move we could certainly make. We could get uh, get a fair few people here. Clayton Horn, we could get... Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Dean? Yeah, Dean Dean works for me, I think. Aggro for Blimo Battery, because he's kind of our utility guy. Other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. And uh, Getty Doctor... We'll be doing the pitching for us, as uh, before we do the things, we need to make sure we got the right uniforms. Those, of course, being our uh, road unis, away uniforms. There we go, we're all set, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. From, I think it's El Viejo, is home to the Whiplash. We'll find out momentarily as we get you set. For baseball, welcome back on this eve of Thanksgiving. It is indeed El Viejo. All right. Well, Getty on the hill will be taking up the stick first on the offensive side of the ball. Hoping we can get things moving in a positive direction as Canopy digs in, and we are underway with a ball outside. Thanks for checking this one out. Hope you are able to have some productive time over this kind of break situation. Um, I had my, uh, took the day off last night of the, the Boys and Girls Club. One of my kiddos had a, a band concert, so I went to go see that, as that is out number one for the Bullets. And uh, a little bit of shopping today to get a few things, get set for Thanksgiving tomorrow. As Blamo Battery steps in as the second uh, batter here in this one. But if you have any plans, what do those look like for you? For staying around home, hosting, traveling, whatever it may be, as Battery is out number two. The first base, number 10, Dean Robinson. Here comes Dean Robinson. So two up, two down to start the ball game here for us. Let's try to. You know, get things uh, back in a good one today. We definitely need a good ball game here as the Whiplash have just turned a 1-2-3 first inning on us. So here comes Getty on the hill. And we'll see what he can do for us against this Miami ball club. Bottomley Oliver, Oliver going to lead things off against Doctor, the righty. Comes to the plate with a first pitch strike. And uh, other than that, just trying to enjoy some time off. You know, I don't uh, I don't get a whole lot of it. I work 60 hours a week, and I've got some stuff going on next week. Um, I suppose this is a good place to talk about it as any. As that thing bonked down but foul. I've got a uh, eye appointment on Tuesday uh, next week as that's hooked down the line the other way. And uh, Oliver is put together a heck of an amp band to start off and he'll walk but uh I've had some funny vision things going on here's osborne in the two hole so one on nobody out for getty i had some uh what i thought was an eye pressure issue about two weeks ago or so and uh went in and everyone said the, the pressure was fine i do have a history of glaucoma so that was a, a concern um but uh, I've been hitting my head on stuff, like misjudging distances a little bit. And uh, I just want to get things checked out. With my condition, it's fairly likely that I will lose my vision at some point. Uh, it's just a matter of, is that point coming up? Or are we, uh, you know, if I were to go get a surgery, does that put us in a better spot? Um, I'm not sure. Getty, just trying to get out of a... A tough spot there, and the runner will move to second, but there's it out. Alan Goodman stepping on in. Runner is out. 
There's a second. Goodman's got a chance to crack open the score here for the Whiplash. And that's a wild pitch. Runner is going for third, and we'll have it. 90 feet away, the first run of the ball game. That's a strike, though. And that may score a run. The throw to first is in time, but the run does, in fact, score. one nothing. Whiplash, two gone. Bruce Flail in now, and, uh, well, one is one is tolerable as Flail flails that one. And we'll see what comes of Getty as he starts to settle in in this one. Trying to get that put-away pitch for Bruce. The righty comes back and gives up a fair ball down the left field line. Flail going to go for second and have it fairly easily. The throw in handled, but only just. Beans Vaughn. Beans Vaughn. Well, runner in scoring position, two out, and Vaughn may have just doubled the lead here for... Nope, they're going to hold up. They're at the corners. All right. Hayden Ortiz. Hayden Ortiz. Well, two are out. They're at the corners. Getty deals a first pitch strike. Trying to get out of it here in the first. That's outside, not there. All right. One, two, big pitch for Getty. And sky to left should end the inning. And it will. But the whiplash strike first and now lead this ball game by a score of one nothing. We move to the second inning. As Royal Thunderer will lead it off. She's had a moderately hot bat as of late. And she takes a first pitch for a strike. Now even up at one apiece. What's your favorite Thanksgiving uh, tradition? Be that a food? Royal 2-2, and whack to right, going back. That's got a chance if it can find out of here is what it can find, and Royal Thunderer goes deep to tie up the ball game. A run apiece for both clubs. On another Royal Thunderer home run. Here's Layla. Still in a big number dispute with Blamo Battery, both players wearing the number two, have been for a while. Um, the argument has gotten personal, and uh, arbitration hearing for number rights will take place hopefully after this ball game. That's an out. Here comes Molly, one in. O'Connor. Trying to do something with nobody out, or nobody on, excuse me, and one out. And a 1-1 one -one count. One's all around, tied at one. And Molly fouls one away. And just took that one. Two balls, two strikes. She fouls one away to see another pitch. Putting together a good at-bat. She grounds that one. The throw is across, and she is retired as a result. Number seven. Sophia well, Sophia Coffee over at third is the batter. You bet that's a and she'll take a strike. Oh, and one. Swings and fouls one away. No balls, two strikes to Sophia. She'll foul one away and see another. And that one skied third base side. And Sophia is retired in a hurry, but the Bullets get a run back on the solo home run by Royal Thunderer. We're knotted at one. Here comes Silas Hoover. And Getty looking to go back to work. The righty comes to the plate. A 1-1 count to Hoover. And that's outside 2-1. Even up, Getty going for the K and not going to have it on that pitch. It's full to Silas. And I think he got him, is what happened there. Rick North, who, if I remember correctly, can uh, can send him a good distance. 
Getty starts him off with a foul one out and nobody aboard for Rick but uh, I started asking this question a while back and, I, and then I never went anywhere with it do you have a favorite Thanksgiving tradition of any kind whether it's a food an event um, that's a walk for Getty his second of the day Goes to Banks, the starter. Step in with a runner on. Good sacrifice situation for Banks. The pickoff attempt. Not there for Getty. And the bunt laid down. The double play is going to result. And the inning is over. So Getty does his job. They put up a goose egg tied at one. We move to the third. And we're going to see Dustin Schaffer lead things off. And I believe we'll have the pitcher spot and be back to the top of the order this inning. And a 1-1 count to Dustin. Swing and a miss. He tried to do something with that one and couldn't quite pull it off. A 1-2 count. And it's fouled away. And that's another strikeout for Ghost Banks, who's had a few today. Here's Getty. Steady Getty is... What we used to call him. Struggled a little bit more this year, but uh, it's pitching all right today as we're tied a run apiece here in the third. A one-two to Getty on the ground. And that'll get throw. Getty Doctor cashing in with a single. And he'll be aboard at first. Or the top of the order in the form of Canopy Cannon. And that's on the ground and through as well. Cannon. Two back-to-back -back singles. Two bases occupied. For Blamo Battery. The Bullets trying to pick up some momentum. One out, two on. Battery stands in. And the first pitch foul away. It's 0-1. That's in there. No balls and two strikes to Blamo. And three pitches and a strikeout puts two away and puts a little bit more pressure on Dean Robinson as he's the one to make something happen if it's going to happen this inning. Robinson waits and takes a strike. Two on. Got to cash in here. 0-2. Oh, Foul away will do it again. No balls. Two strikes. Dean Robinson strikes out and the inning is over. The bat does not survive the encounter and we'll move bottom three still tied at a run apiece bottomly oliver back in there back to the top of the order here as getty deals a strike pitching well 0-2 to oliver the righty not quite there looking for that Strikeout pitch, and he'll have it there. Good out number one. Here comes Osborne. But uh, my family, in terms of Thanksgiving traditions, tends to uh, get together a little. We're a little uh, Midwestern in our... Oh, the play not made there. That is going to sneak through and be a... A single should have been a play made there. I'm assuming we'll have an error in the house. By the by, the way that that looked, just with the camera, and I, I heard that little bonk sound. Um, but we uh, sometimes we usually watch uh, Christmas Vacation at some point in the uh, proceedings, which is always a good time. There's usually the football is present. I'm not a big football guy, but there are some people who are. That was almost a troublesome home run. And runner goes, fouled away. Getty gets another foul ball. One in, two with one away. The pickoff at first is no go. So Getty trying to get out of it. Just foul away again. Putting a, a good at-bat together here. And this one skied to right. And what a play! Runner goes back to first, and the out is made. All right. Must have been Royal out there. Bruce Flail. 
two away. Runner at first. Getty trying to put up another scoreless inning. And he will have a first pitch strike to do so against Flail. Now a 1-1 count on him. And that's to first. No problem inning over. Well, scoreless again. We're moving to the fourth. Don't go anywhere, folks. This is a good one. Royal bonked one out of here last time up to tie things up at a run apiece. And she'll stand in against Ghost Banks for a second time where she'll hit this one to left going back. And it is going to be caught. So not as good a luck there as Layla Uptown. And her fabled purple bat. Bullets still have yet to do a bobblehead game this year. Is there a player you'd like to see featured in a bobblehead day at the Emerald Diamond? Let me know in the comments section down below. As Layla is gone on a strikeout. So maybe she wouldn't be the optimal target for a, a bobblehead day, but Molly's been with us a while. And she digs in here with nothing going on. And two are out in the inning. A 1-1 count to the backstop for us. And that's going to be a knock. She's in with a single drop just in front of the Outfielder there. The third base, number seven, Sophia. Well, Sophia in a good spot. Molly aboard at first. Still two gone, but Sophia has been known to cash in. And she tries to do it on the first pitch, but it's fouled away. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. She's down 0 2. Sophia bonks it on the ground. Should be an easy play. And with that, the inning is over. Bottom four up and coming. Still knotted up at a run apiece. Beans Vaughn. Beans Vaughn back in against Getty. Who gets a ground ball but threw Vaughn aboard with a single. All right. Caden Ortiz. Steps in, one aboard, nobody out, nope. inside. just inside there for Getty. Hasn't fallen behind to the degree that uh, perhaps his traits would dictate, but that is going to find the wall and may score a run. Runners at third, rounding and going, no, hold it, excuse me, and uh, well, not a good spot to be in. Silas Hoover. Stands in. Horse Moody's going to come out of the bullpen as there are runners at second and third with nobody out. And this tie is in jeopardy. Horse gets a foul ball to make the count no and two on Silas. Not close with that pitch. One and two. Horse Moody gets the strike out a big one. Out number one. Rick North. Tough part of this lineup to face in such circumstances. North, that's fair down the line, and Rick North has done the thing that he does, and they lead now by a run to the whiplash. Ghost Banks steps in and will be replaced by somebody. I couldn't quite hear the name. And that's banged through, and that's going to be a two-run lead. Three runs now for Miami. 3-1 your score. Back to the top of the order for a third run. As horse to Bottomley Oliver. And that's not good. Bottomley Oliver has knocked one. And uh, I believe that loads the bases. Here comes Osborne, and there's nowhere to put anybody, folks. They're loaded up as Osborne fouls one away. There's still only one out in the inning. An 0-2 count to Osborne, however. Horse not getting the result he wanted on that pitch. Foul away again, one and two with only one out. On the ground, double play could end it, and ends the threat. 
So to come across as somebody has entered, but I couldn't see who. They pick up a couple. It's 3-1 Miami as we move to the fifth. Second base, number 23, Dustin Schaffer. Well, here comes Schaffer, and it's time to get something going in a hurry. As the momentum in a game like this matters, you were tied up for so long, now they got a couple back. You got to answer with at least one if you can do. Schaffer trying to do his part, skews one down the line, that's fair. And he'll settle at first with a single. Dustin Schaffer does his job. Of course, Moody steps in. Will he bat? He will not. Nick Jackman will take his spot. Well, like I said, this is the chance to put the hammer down, and Nick tries to do it but falls behind. A 1-1 count to him with a runner at first. And nobody out. A 2-1 to Nick. Fired and missed. I got that one 2-2. Two -two. And full count to Nick Jackman. Big pitch. And he gets a hold of that. It's foul down the line, so he'll see another. And he strikes out. Well, you had to do something. Canopy Cannon digs in. And uh, you got to get something here, folks. At one point in time, Cannon could have been the guy. However, in an 0-2 count with one out, you got to get a hold of it, protect, and take your pitches. That's low, 1-2. Now 2-2, two two, even up on Canopy. Swing and a miss. Second strike out of the inning for Whiplash pitching. Blamo Battery, the last hope to do something about this runner at first situation after giving up two runs the previous half inning. As he fouls the first offering away, it's 0-1. Walk down the line, that's foul, and it's no balls, two strikes to Battery. They have three strikeouts this inning. That one's not there, though. It's 1-2. Balked foul. Same count, one and two, the righty. Gets a strikeout. Three strikeouts in the inning. Bullets strand a runner. And now it's starting to look a little more desperate. Bottom five up and coming. Keep them right here. Alan Goodman going to lead things off. And I think we've got a new pitcher on our hands. Who is it? Oh, I apologize. I'm bonking the mic on stuff. Let me uh, let me scoot the mic for just a moment. I'll be honest, I can't read it. You can, especially in post as Molly handles that one no problem. I'm just trying to think of who we have on the lefty side in the pen. Because I don't know for sure that this is... Uh, I don't believe this is... Cecilia. I don't think it's Felix. It's I'm not sure. And I can't get over on that side of my TV to read it. So I do apologize for that. However, whoever it is has got a good count and a good spot. Just can't get that put away pitch. Molly sets up again and that's the one we were looking for. A strikeout. This might be Cecilia. I'm not sure. Beans Vaughn, who has scored a, I want to say was responsible for one of the whacks that brought in a couple runs for these guys, but is now behind in the count 0-2. And Vaughn down the line. That had some scream on it, but luckily for us went foul. And another foul, so a battle by Beans here. The Bean battle, 2-2. Not there, full count, big pitch. And popped up. That'll probably reach the seats and it will be a souvenir, so another one up and coming. Take your base. And that's a walk. Man, one hurts a little bit. Here's Caden Ortiz. Felix Allen, well now I know who's pitching. The right-hander. Comes in and gets a foul to start things off against Ortiz. A 1-1 is foul away. 
two strikes, two outs. Felix. Out on that pitch, 2-2, two, two, two outs. And a strikeout will end the inning. So Felix comes out of the pen and does his job. And sixth inning we go. Still behind by a pair. Well, now is the time. Dean Robinson climbs into the box and is set to do battle. Got to get something going. Maybe a little more plate discipline wouldn't be a bad thing for these bullets. A 2-1 to Robinson is fouled away to even things. 2-2 two -two from the righty. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Bullets have been doing that today. Thunderer has barked one out of here and flown out tonight. First pitch two or not close. 1-0. Gets a hold of one and fouls it. Swing and a miss or just a strike. One of the two. Royal bunks it on the ground to throw across. And she's gone. Here comes Layla. Well, it hasn't been a hopeless ball game, but you got to start to think that if something can't be done soon, it's not going to be... A pretty one, and Layla tries to skewer it through for a knock. Instead, she's thrown out, and the bullets sent packing in the sixth. Bottom half coming up. It's still 3-1 Miami. Well, keep it here. It could happen late. You never know. Silas Hoover is going to start things off, and Felix is still back out there for another inning. As Hoover fouls the first offering from Allen. And he's ahead 0-2 is Felix. Another 1-2 on the way after the foul, and that's on the ground. Throw from shortstop, no problem. One up, one down in the sixth. Here's Rick North, who has bonked in a run or two. I want to say that's a two for him. And Felix starts off with an inside ball, and now a strike. 1-1 one, one with one out. 1-2 one, here from Allen to North. He got him! What a pitch there to strike out Rick North. Savannah Mood. I'm going to bat for herself. They apparently like her enough to throw her in the next half inning as well as Felix with a 1-1 on the way gets a foul ball to make things 1-2. So Savannah is going to strike out and probably head to pitch immediately here as last three outs for your bullets. Trail by a couple. Don't go anywhere. We're in for a good finish. Molly going to lead things off. And I'm going to guess we're going to call the pitcher Savannah and hope I'm right. Outside. That's outside a ball to Molly. That's, That's in there. 1-1 one, one, to O'Connor is on the way. Strike. And in there for a strike. 1-2. Molly. Yep. Strikes out. Do the bullets okay. want it is the question. One gone here in the seventh. Sophia Coffee. Going to get something on and get something going. Bridget Nielsen is going to come on in the pitching department against Sophia and deals her a strike. Even up at one and one with one out. Sophia ahead 2-1. Bonks it down the line. That's going to be an out. No, not quite. All right. 1-2 to Coffee. Nielsen gets the strike out. Last out. The second baseman. Number 23, Dustin Schaffer. Dustin Schaffer, the last hope here for your bullets in a close one, but you got to want it. And Schaffer says, I'd like it, but I'm in a 1-1 count. Falls it away, last strike, Dustin Schaffer. Bridget Nielsen, she winds, kicks, and deals, and that's the ball game. Bridget Nielsen comes in and shuts the door as Miami picks up a win. Final score in this particular affair, three runs on 
Eight hits and an error for Miami. One run, five hits, or excuse, yeah, five hits, no errors for us. There's a look at the big numbers. If you're interested in those, perchance. And the loss tonight is going to go to Getty. Not a, not a terrible game. Just wasn't what you want to see as Royal Thunderer was certainly the bright spot again. But Miami ultimately takes this one by a final score of 3-1. to one. And we have a manager moment to contend with. Oh, the media is asking uh, who you thought Ooh, didn't earn their keep. Okay. Who didn't earn their keep today? Blamo or Layla? Mm. Man, both of these hurt to uh, to to say. Um, I mean, Blamo's utility. I'm gonna say Layla, and I apologize for that, ma'am. But what are you gonna do? We simulate our CPU games, and we fall a little farther. Now we are firmly at the bottom spot in our division, and things. Certainly not looking ideal for the Bullets. Next stop is going to be the Blue Bells in Brooklyn. They are 12 and 11. We are 9 and 14. Balanced for us, Extreme Contact Specialists for Brooklyn as they will send uh, Veritable Lynch to the hill. We will counter with Ruby Farrell. All that more to come as we get you set for more. Hoping for better things. We'll look at some player development opportunities off camera. Get you set for the next game against the Brooklyn Blue Bells. Thank you for checking this one out. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, queries, theories, comments, concerns, lineup changes, managerial arrangements, transportational suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see you for the next one in Brooklyn. Peace.